the first episode of Upgrading My Rig, I talked about the Ultra Wizard, the new case in which I will put my computer in. In this episode, we'll be installing everything into that case. So let's get to it. Here is the new case. Another thing, I don't know if I said this before in the video, but um, the PCI here, these just pop out. They don't like go in and out. So if you have to, if you had a card in there and you're gonna put, take it out, you're just gonna have an open space unless you have an extra one that somehow fits in and it looks okay. Um, and then, like I said before, the fan is pretty, the fan space in here is really large. So, first thing I believe I want to install is the PSU. Hopefully, this works. Okay, hopefully, this. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's fitting just perfectly. Let's get a let's get a view in on there. All right, so the PSU here is fitting just perfectly in there. As you can see it lines up with all the holes, and you got everything. The fan has enough space, and everything like that. And also, there's some more space here. I believe this case is a little bit wider. So now that the power supply is installed, or I guess now that it's in there, I'm going to put in the screws. It's perfectly so that's good and I also checked to make sure that this thing will fit under my desk now putting stuff on my desk you might be thinking hey how about you don't how about you don't put it under your desk how you put it on your desk or the dust situation and I'm like no these monitors just go across my desk and they fill up the whole space and I feel like that's cute and there is no space to put my uh, computer stuff under the desk in this little space. It looks like it was almost designed for a computer, I don't know. Um, I can tell you though, that old uh, desks, or the computer desks, uh oh, I think we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, so, anyway, old desks, like computer desks, were made by 4x3 monitors. Alright, so the screws here don't look like they're really fitting. The power supply is a little too high. Let's screw this in. There we go. Now it's working. Alright, so this isn't a Corsair or anything. And it's old, but even at the time, it wasn't like your nice uh, computer case. But, honestly, I'd say for one of those weird brands, it's not really bad at all. Um, it, it, I don't know if this was a, you know, like one of those Chinese brands, or if it's one of the brands that, you know, the computer store, whether it was Micro Center. I know Micro Centers is inland in PowerSpec, that's their own like kind of companies. And then next I'm gonna take the IO shield out. This is the one that came with it. Came with this computer. Now getting this out, um don't know. I guess you just I suppose you just do this. Okay, I was able to kinda put enough pressure on it. And I should be able to somewhat kinda just pop it in. Wait a second, will this fit? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, just checking it out, make sure it fits. Can't really tell, but I think these are already, like, they don't need standoffs. Because, I get my little bag here, and if I get a couple standoffs, and I put one in here, I, and then I also put one in here, you can definitely tell that this one's shorter, won't reach the motherboard. So this one I'm guessing is already like that, I just don't want to short out my motherboard. I think it's good. Why'd they do that with this case? Why didn't they just make you put in the stand up yourself? I guess for beginners, if they're stupid and they just put the screws in, it's all ready and it won't short out. I guess that's a good feature. Alright, now I can put the motherboard in. And it should be... Yeah, it's right side up now. It's not upside down like it's been all its life. And the motherboard is in place. So we can now, I guess, move on to getting other things in place. Actually, I want to, you know, before I put in like more of the main stuff, actually, what I'm going to do first case fan. Yeah, that case fan is a little too small. Now, the fan controller for the case fan died, and it runs as, at high speed, along with the CPU. The CPU does the same thing. So, CPU fan. 
and that's why I did the thing for the CPU fan, because the case fan is not that loud, it's loud. Now, I could find one of those weird fan controllers from China, and that's something I've been thinking about doing. I'm trying to find a good one. Alright, so I'm going to take off the cover for the CD-ROM. And they already took off the metal cover behind it, so I'm able to just slide it right in there. I just want to line it with the screws on the side. And now, I suppose I can just close this up. And you can, if you want, lock it. Wait a minute. There we go. Lock it. Just, I don't know if it's uh, this is the correct order to hook things up in a computer, but heck, I'm doing it this way. Alright, so now I can slide off the side panel here. And as you can see, it has a side panel. Unlike my old case, which makes cable management a teensy bit better. There's not too much to cable manage back here. There's literally like nothing. Now, as for SSDs, you could fit one back here, but there's no official mounting for it, so I wouldn't advise it. It's really just to access the screws for the hard drives and the CD-ROM. Um, let's see, what do we have to do here next? I guess just the hard drives and the SSD. And now I will put it in... Actually, I don't even know if that comes off or if that just stays on there. I guess it just slides in like so. And I don't have to put in uh, a front fan. Oh, no. The RAM is in the way. That's okay, I can probably get in one of the lower slots. And if I had to... I could remove the RAM. Alright, so I got the SSD in with four screws, and I also got the hard drive pushing a little bit further so it doesn't um, interact with the power cable here. So that's all good. Now I just have to put the RAM back in. Um, so yeah, so it should be uh, pretty good now. I was able to get the screws in all the way. It was a little bit different with this case, probably because it's older. Alright, so I looked up what each of the connectors are um, for the power connectors and everything like that. So I've got that and I can most likely test the board. There shouldn't be any problems. Alright, it's powered. Power supply has a light on the back. Are you going to try it? Ready? Okay. Seems to basically work. It doesn't seem like the motherboard blew up or anything. Looks good, and I got the right pinout for the board. Um, I guess it's just the MSI basic pinout here. And then we'll do some needed cable management here in a second. Uh, the power LED, though, is a problem. Do you see this? It is three pins, and it's spaced out really weird. Uh, power LED can't be like that. So, either I can kind of modify this thing here, which I'm not sure how I do that, or I could strip this and then I do have another connector somewhere that I can use for it, so. Alright, so temporary not good cable management has been done. So, we are just going to make sure everything looks like it's all connected there. And uh, next I'm just going to install the temporary GT620. Soon I will install the... Um, GT1650, hopefully it'll uh, work. Wait a minute, wait a minute, before I just pop this one out. Does it actually fit in the slot? Okay, because some, you know, they go the slot down. Whatever, stuff like that. Alright, those just pop out and they never go back in. That's one of the things I don't like about this. My GPU goes upside down. I guess it's right side up, but like, still. And so this should be okay for now. <laughs> um, of course, there's going to be lots of upgrades. And I like this new case. I mean, I can add more stuff to it, definitely. Um, but I think now it is basically time to close it up. I will do a test to make sure everything powers on correctly and runs. Now, I'm not sure. I suppose I could put one of these fans in. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Okay, now it's in. Let me test it. Boy, that's loud. It's barely crapping in any air. 
while the fan is actually in a better spot now. So now I just have to put on the panels, I think for the last time. Now we're ready to do the full power on. So the other nice thing about this case is there's only one air vent on that side and not on this side, so I can kind of push it up against there, except for the fact that I need to use this uh, my finger to open it inside here. So we're going to do a full test and boot this thing and see if everything works properly. Ready? Okay, my power light broke, so but that's okay. doesn't matter. All right, looks good. I might want to fix the power light, but maybe not today. It probably will keep me up all night, so I might fix it, but it seems to have worked. Let's test the front USB ports. I don't have anything that's really firewire, so I won't be able to test that yet, but let's test the USB. Alright, front USB. Okay, that's the problem with my graphics card. That's why I'm getting a new one. Front USB is, in fact, working. And um, when I install the new graphics card, I will hopefully fix the power light. But yeah, let's go on to installing the graphics card. I guess days later. More like one video later. In the next video, we will be installing my new GTX 1650. And I'll see you there.